Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video where we've got a very, very, very special one today. We are going to be driving possibly the quickest thing I'm ever going to be driving. A KZ shifter car. This thing is insane. Um, so stick around for this one. It's going to be a good one. Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video where today we're at Tatchell Cot Centre once again and we've got a very 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 special cart to be driving today so you'll probably see at the start of the month i've titled the video this is the fastest thing i've ever driven that's when i went down with adx to try their uh, senior road tax out that was a lie um this is now going to be the quickest thing i'm ever going to drive i think probably ever so here at Tatchell, um one of my subscribers and a very good friend of the channel adam has invited me down to test out his KZ car. He's bought a KZ car, a Tony car. It's a six speed KZ gearbox, 125, two stroke. It is ridiculously quick. I've just seen him go out for a few laps in it. And yeah, this thing is, is a monster. This thing wants to throw you out. It wants to kill you by the looks of it. And yeah, it's very greasy out on track. It's just spitting. Um, so yeah, we're just going out, it's just spitting at a minute. Uh, hopefully it should be drying a bit. We did check the weather and it was meant to be dry, but we're not sure. So yeah, this is going to be insane. Um, I'm just going to leave the footage in. Shift the carts. This is this is going to be an experience. KZ carts, proper carts, as you could say. So yeah, let's get to my first session. Let's get out there. Let's see what it's like. Let's see what shifting in a cart feels like. I'll see you out on track. So here we go then, first time out in the KZ. Very strange to begin with, having to get used to changing the gears. So I was getting used to that. But if we quickly listen here, that was just a quick preview of the power of what this car has. That was, just kicks you out. We really want to kick you out. But here I'm just getting the tires warmed up, getting used to it. And once again, it just wants to throw you out of the car. I know you can't really hear it over my voice, but it's got so much power in it. But if we just hear it down the straight. I think that just paints the picture of how quick this thing really is. But just here, I'm getting the tyres warmed up as it's just quite unsteery quite oversteery especially on the power but it is raining a bit as you can see on the camera lens the track is quite greasy so it is quite hard to get the temperatures up especially in a car that I'm not really I'm not used to at all so it's a bit difficult at the minute but we're getting used to it we are um, on a short course as well for this first session as you can tell they did have rentals out before this and they had rentals out after so they didn't want to take out the tyres for the main straight so we just run the short course for now, but I think that's enough just to get used to the power of it, just to get used to shifting. And as you we can see, we're catching up to this cadet. As we come down here, we almost fly past it. We don't know if it's going to slightly turn left, as they are a cadet and probably not fully aware of the surroundings, especially when you've got a super powerful car coming past you. But we get past it. But if we skip to a bit later on in the session, we um, start getting used to the carpet more, and we have a massive lockup coming in to where the pits are, not used to having front brakes at all, it's very different to just having the rear brakes on the axle, but we are a bit more used to it now, we're less afraid of it, putting the foot down a bit more, going around corners a bit more aggressively, but there's not really much more in the session to show you to be fair, it's just me getting more and more confident in the car, I think the more fun bit comes in the second session, so let's bring her into the pits and we'll get to the second session. So 
and here we go then, the second session of the day. As you can probably tell in the first few clips, I'm a lot more used to the cart now, a lot more aggressive on the throttle, a lot more aggressive on the cornering. Now we've got the full touch all straight to play with. Really letting the gears flow into third gear, coming out to that little corner into fourth, flying up to start finish. And very tentative on the brakes, as you can probably tell. Um, there's a lot to think about, the cart's going very quick. Coming out of the hairpin, very quick again. Just too tentative coming up to the corner in. And two again, very tentative with brakes as well. The cart's just so powerful, there's a lot going through your mind. It's really, really quick, so it's the quickest thing I've ever been in. And we catch up to that cadet once again from the first session. However, this time we're gonna still be a bit tentative on overtaking, but get it done. Really, if you start using the curb there and fly down the main straight again, a bit later on the brakes, but still pretty early. Uh, but this time we can fly in at the head in a lot more speed, and just, you can just tell I'm just struggling to change gears because I'm just concentrating on everything. There's just so much going on with this car. I'm always trying to think about the lines that I took with the Tillotson when we were here the week before. I haven't done a video on that yet. It will be coming out possibly the next one or the next two. We'll see, you'll see what I mean when that comes out. But like I say, I'm a lot more used to the car now. Really throwing it around the corners. Really shifting up the gears, really shifting down the gears. And I'm actually going to skip to the quickest lap of the session as this wasn't a very long session. But I'll skip to the quickest lap and I'll wait for you to hear the full two-stroke KZ noise. A lot of time to find, but with a greasy track and still not used to the car, as good as I was going to get. But here, as you can see, literally the lap that we're on, the track's just too greasy now. That last lap, I managed to get the quickest lap on, was the last opportunity to get a quick time. As you can see now, corners coming up, the car is just understeering, the car seems to get the tyres to work, a bit too greasy now. Yeah. Unfortunately, that was, I pretty much called it there as I just tied around the track. So we bring her into the pits for the second time and that was my experience in the KZ car. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Jesus Christ, that is one hell of a go-kart. Mine's gone. Mine has gone. It's so quick. You, I physically cannot compute. My brain can't compute with what I'm meant to do, where I'm meant to shift, where the throttle is, what gear I'm meant to be in. You're going down the straight. You try. You shift into fifth, and the next minute you're at the corner. It's. It's. Oh, it's. It's. It is the best thing I think I've ever driven. It's insane. Honestly, these things are insane. I can see why now. Formula One drivers come from KZ carts because. The, pre oh, the reaction time you have to have, everything, you need, yeah, like you probably tell, my brain just can't compute with what's going on, and to do it all with slicks in pretty crazy conditions you've seen towards the end, car was just understeering, um, it's no grip, yeah, Ooh. so yeah, I'm going to two sessions out, I had about 15 minutes in the car, which is more than enough uh, for the first go out. Let me know what you think of the session. Um, I just want to give a big thank you again to Adam for inviting me down. Um, just thank you. Honestly, thank you. But yeah, I'll leave Adam's Instagram here. Uh, if you want to follow up on him, he's, uh, he's got an Audi RS6, which is beautiful. So if you're into Audi, if you're into your RS6s, he's your man to follow. And yeah, he did say that he wanted to do a YouTube video on owning the KZ and the experience of it. Can, coming from pretty much complete novice 
into something like KZ. So if he ever does do something like that, I'll definitely share it on my Instagram or say on here. Oh, and um, another thing as well, just a quick shout out from the unofficial Hass Ambassador. Hass shirts now on Delta Racewear. I'll leave the link below. So uh, don't worry, Josh, don't have to pay me. But yeah, it's, it's very cool. It's amazing. The material's great. It looks incredible. It feels great on me. Don't forget to, I'll, like I say, I'll leave the link below. Go and check them out. Go and buy something. And I'll leave it there, YouTube. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like on this one because this is a very special video. Uh, leave a comment. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. It helps grow the channel. Uh, we've got a few more good videos coming up. Got a few more races planned, uh, especially with... Hint, hint. Um, so, yeah. So, we've got a few more cool videos coming up. Even got some team sport videos coming up. So yeah, I'll leave it to it. Thank you very much for watching YouTube. I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching.